talk to you about the new leave roster for Moonbase. I thought you might. It'll have to be changed. And who tells them? I might have guessed. Straker. Joe Fraser is in reception, sir. Who? The reporter from the press agency. Did I make an appointment? Yes, sir. You agreed to the interview last week. Right. Thank you, Miss Eland. Look, Alec, can't you handle it? No, you're head of the studio. It's you he wants to interview. Article for a heap of glossy film magazines. I'm no PR man. It won't be that bad. GPA will syndicate the story and keep the rest of the press off your back. Oh, Commander Straker, the refueling schedule, sir. Give it to Colonel Freeman. I'm about to be thrown to the press. Excuse me. Yes, Mr. Straker. I'm ready, Miss Eland. Yes, sir. Would you like to go in? Now, before we start, I must tell you that I'm a very busy man, Mr. Fraser. I must apologize. My name is Josephine Fraser. I sometimes find that in a man's world, Joe is more convenient. Hmm. Well, uh, is it a man's world? I think so. I hope you'll forgive me. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Please sit down. Well, fire away, Miss Fraser. And now, how long have you been head of the studio, Mr. Straker? Do you, uh... Tape record the interview and take notes. I noticed the microphone in the front of your purse. Oh, that's to ensure I don't misquote you. And the notepads for my impressions. Of me? I think first impressions are so important. I think so, too. And the fuel checks are complete. Thank you, Skydiver. I'll tell Commander Straker. Like sugar, sir. That's just how I like it. Well, I'll uh, walk you to your car. Well, thank you. I thought the age of chivalry was dead. Oh, no. I have to go up on the studio lot. It's on the way. Goodbye. No, I'm not sure.
Very smart. I've earned it. Well, thank you. You've been very kind. A pleasure. Goodbye. Miss Fraser. Commander Straker. Commander Straker. expect you back so soon I left my handbag oh I see I'll get it for you no it's all right I'll get it have you found it yes thank you Stand by. When I give the word. Take some close-ups on this shot now. Now, Roy, from the point where your hand comes up to your forehead. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, Sally. Good morning, Roy. Well, good morning, Mr. Strickland. Well, you died beautifully. Thank you. I don't get much on the blood, though. Oh, by the way, Roy, we finally got that contract matter all straightened out. If you want to call Miss Elan, she'll put you in the picture. Fine. Lovely. Um, chaps, that was These. Lieutenant, do you know where Commander Straker is? Yes, I buzzed him a couple of minutes ago. He's on his way back from the lot. Fine. Messages, callers? No, sir. Uh, only Miss Fraser. Miss Fraser? Yes, sir. She came back for her handbag. She left it in your office. You didn't let her go in there? Well, only for a moment. I see. Straker. Voice print positive. Identification Commander Straker. I think first impressions are so important. You uh, tape record the interview and take notes? I think first impressions are so important. You didn't let her go in there. Well, only for a moment. Alec, Ford. Something wrong? 
Did anyone call me during the last 15 minutes? I bleeped you on the studio lot. No, I mean the office up top, over the intercom. Well, yes, I tried there first. What did you say? Nothing. There was no answer. Well, you must have said something. It's important. Well, just... Commander Straker. There was no reply, so I clicked off. Commander Straker. Well, thank you, Ford. How could I be so stupid, Alec? That reporter had a tape recorder. It was left in the office. The chances are it picked up Ford's voice over the intercom. That's not so important. He only said Commander Straker. Assuming it was picked up, what could it mean to anyone? Not a lot, I agree. But maybe just enough for that woman reporter and her press friends to start snooping around. It was a girl. Yes. Miss Eland, get on to the Global Press Agency. I want to contact that Miss Josephine Fraser. It's urgent. Yes, sir. What was she like? Hmm? Oh, intelligent. Attractive? I'm afraid we have no one on our staff named Fraser. Are you quite certain? I've checked right through the personnel files. Yes, I see. But check with the other agencies. Right. Thank you very much. Yes, Miss Eland? I just called the press agency, sir. They've never heard of Miss Fraser. Well, check all the other agencies. I want her found. Thank you, Miss Eland. Intelligent, attractive, and a possible security link. It was my mistake. I'll take care of it. Well, I still think I should go. Well, it's simple enough, Alec. Find Miss Fraser and get the tape. A logical sequence. Well, you can look after things here. Sure. Well, there it is, Alec. The responsibility seat. The, uh, other side of the fence. I'll check in every few hours. Trace on positive track, course 428146, green. Speed 0, Sol 8. Range 20 million miles, closing. Termination? It should be through any second. Tell Moon Base to launch the interceptors. Red alert. Red alert. Control to interceptors. Have UFOs on positive track. Green one four zero. Moon base to shadow control. Confirm you no sighting. Some ice, please. Yes, sir. Now, how far is the Grenville Motel? About eight kilometers down the road, sir. May I use your phone? Of course, sir. Thank you. Five million miles.
We've lost it. I think first impressions are so important. I have a sighting bearing green zero four two. Maintaining stationary position at 50,000 feet Earth's atmosphere. Yes? I have Commander Straker on the line, sir. He wants to know how things are going. Tell him everything's fine. No trouble. Well, do we have trouble? I don't think so. But we have an unidentified radar trace. Yes. Then something's there. I guess so, but... And it could be that UFO. It's practically stationary. The point is, do we have a UFO on our hands or don't we? Well, in my opinion, it's a million to one against. But of course, we'll maintain a full alert radar track now. Launch Sky One. Tell Waterman to investigate. Yes, sir. This is Shadow Control to Skydiver. Launch Sky One, investigate possible UFO, position 012302, red three. Roger Control, out. Launch stations. Launch stations. Check circuits. HP circuits okay. Relays okay. Okay for launch, Captain. Lift off stations. Lift off stations. Check boosters. Checking boosters. We still have positive track. Green on three. Confirm radar fix. Control to Sky One. New position, 018294. Range 25 miles. I have it on internal radar. Should have visual contact in about a minute. I think I can see it. Panic over. It's a weather balloon. Fraser. How did you find me? The studio gate logs all license plate numbers. From that, I got your address. I called and they gave me a couple of places where I might find you. From there on, it was a simple process of elimination. Who do you work for? Myself. And sell whatever you get to the highest bidder, huh? Look, I'm sorry I lied. But if I hadn't said I was from GPA, you wouldn't have seen me at all, would you? 
Just give me the tape, Miss Fraser, and we'll call it a day. The tape, Miss Fraser. You've played it back. There wasn't time. Right. you say it? If you just sign this, please, sir. Oh, get out of here. I'll leave them on your desk, then. Even a practice launch for skydiving needs an authorization. Hold it, please. I'm sorry. Can you imagine what Straker would have said? Yes, sir. I can imagine. What now? The police? Joe Fraser, freelance reporter, failed. I've only had one article published in the last month. It's still there? Yes, Lieutenant. Ask Colonel Foster to come in. And get control. You'll want to speak to Commander Straker. Right. I have Colonel Foster on the video link, sir. Oh, thank you. Hello, Paul. To see your face, where's Straker? I'll explain later. What's your problem? Well, we've picked up radio signals about 50 miles east of the base. It's some sort of vehicle. It's moving on an erratic course, but it's heading our way. Have you any idea what it could be? Not really. We've tried to make radio contact, but no joy. Could it be unmanned? It's possible. But if it maintains its present course and speed, it'll run straight into us. It'll be a couple of hours before there's any real danger. We'll get onto it right away. Lieutenant, 
I want an immediate rundown on all installations on the moon operating surface vehicles. Why did you do it? It's a dirty world. Sometimes you have to cut a few corners. To get what you want. Like that car of yours. A car? <laughs> it's on hire. All part of the front. Does it matter? Well, let's say I'm interested. You've heard it all before. I'm a very good listener. With an ice-cold clinical outlook. Intelligent, attractive, and a possible security leak. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? You know, if there's one thing I hate, it's eating dinner alone. Well, what do you think? It's a tough decision. Thanks. All right, tell Moonbase to launch the interceptors. Right, sir. Interceptors one, two, and three, immediate launch. Repeat. Interceptors one, two, and three, immediate launch. Well, it suits me. Well, I'll get things moving in the kitchen. Can I help you? No, I can handle it. I left the wine in the car. I'll get it. Oh, thanks. Yes, Miss Eland? I have Commander Straker on the line, sir. Oh, you better tell him... Tell him everything's under control. He says he's glad to hear it, and he'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, Miss Eland, I want you to do a voice check for me. It's Miss Fraser. Uh, just routine. You mean a G6, sir? Yes, that's right, Miss Eland, a full G6. I understand, sir. Right. Record immediately. Yes, yes. Come and say hello to Miss Eland. Hello, Miss Eland. You're working very late tonight. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Yes, that'll be fine. Good night, Miss Eland. Well, uh, 
Why don't you help yourself to a drink, and I'll go out and break out the can opener. Hey. Hmm? Thanks. I can see it. I'll go down and radio back a photograph. Transmit a print of this to Shadow Control. You know, Ed, you're a terrific cook. I just follow the instructions on the can. <laughs> well, the wine was great. You should have had some. You know, you have a nice home here. It's a place to sleep. You know, it's funny, Joe. I enjoyed today. Ever since my divorce, I've kept myself pretty much to myself. You know how it is. Yes, I do know. Russian, from a base about 120 miles east of Moonbase. Russian? Yes, it's a mobile rig used for commercial mining in rich surface ore areas. Get onto their base. Tell them unless they divert their machine. I'll explain the situation, sir. We understand your concern, but we still can't. Uh... Establish radio contact with the crew. Something must have gone very seriously wrong. Watching Snarya Ruski Melodies, a Molly Glaza. All we can do is to keep trying. Get me shadow control. We've contacted the Russian base. There's a crew of two on board, but no one can contact them. Is the radio link OK? It seems to be. They just don't answer. What's the vehicle's position now? About 20 miles east of the base. The Russians have a surface mobile on the way, but it won't get there on time. Uh, send out a moon mobile. Try to establish visual contact with the crew. Right.
should be making visual contact any minute. Yes, I'll make it about two miles. What's the matter, Ed? Get out. What's wrong? I know. That's what's wrong. One article published in the last month. A car on hire. You were right about that the first time. You earned it. The hard way. Just what did you have mapped out for me? Did you plan to take me for all you could get? Or maybe something more cozy? Like an idyllic weekend somewhere, and a guy with a camera who just happens to burst in at the right time. Maybe at first. Oh, come on, don't give me that. Don't tell me there's an emotion left in that pretty little head. You must be getting soft. Soft? That's the way you get eaten alive. Oh, you wouldn't understand. It's a man's world, remember? Get me a direct radio link with the Moonmobile. Right, sir. I have Colonel Freeman for you, sir. Right, put him on. What's the position? We've just established visual contact and we're trying to get through to the crew. Without much success. Right, fire a warning shot. A warning shot? Look, you're less than five miles from moon base. That's a civilian vehicle. Fire that shot. Right. Range 480 yards. Angle 0 decimal 28. Not too close. <laughs> Try another one, as close as you dare. Yes, sir. Range 320 yards. Angle 0 decimal 24. You're certain they saw the warning shot? If it had been any closer, they'd have been part of it. Stop. You mean? I mean shoot to stop them. That's my decision. I'll take the responsibility. Do you read me? Look, give us a couple of minutes. We're going to try something. Come 
Come in, M3. Come in, M3. Come in, M3. M3 to control. Control to... Let me speak to Colonel Foster. He's trying to get aboard the rig, sir. What? Has he made it? I'm not sure. I can't see him. If he's not inside... Listen, they're both incapable. The air pressure's down. They could be suffering from anoxia. How far away is it now? 1,500 meters. This is a red emergency alert. Seal all airlocks, all personnel to carry out decompression drill. Dr. Vyorch, huh? Yeah. The English, American. Yeah. yeah, what's what? Get onto the Russian base. Find out how to stop this thing. Yes, I understand. The, uh, quickest way to stop it is to throw the red master power switch. It's uh, situated uh, left of center on the control panel. Right. There's a red switch on the control panel. Yes, I can see it. That's the master power control. OK. Ah, Ivan, all my through. Last it arrives. How far is it from moon base? Just a few hundred yards. been a slight pressure leak. They were suffering from a lack of oxygen, inducing a sort of drunkenness. Drunkenness? Like drinking too much whiskey. We call it inoxia. Are we know it in the same way, except our description would substitute vodka for whiskey. On behalf of Sovatex, I would like to thank you for your cooperation. Good morning, sir. Ford? Oh, it's all sorted out. 
Yes, sir. Clever girl, Miss Fraser. You were pretty quick with the voice print. Hello, Miss Eland was enough. The international crime computer did the rest. She's got a record as long as you're on. Is she wanted by the police? Not at the moment, but she won't stay out of trouble for long. Her kind never do. Maybe. Where's Colonel Freeman? In your office, sir. Hello, Alec. Hello. Well, I hear you've had quite a day. You could say that. Well, Foster might have lost his life. Ordering them on board that rig like that. Tough decision. The right one, of course. It wasn't quite like that. Well, whatever way it happened, Alec, you were responsible. I certainly have to hand it to you. Hmm? That Miss Fraser, she didn't have you fooled for a moment. If that had been me, I'd have probably got myself emotionally involved or something. Yes, I can see how it could happen. Well, say, Alec, I... Well, it's all yours. Now, the uh, other side of the fence.